Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Alyssa, and for today's video, I am bringing you my 2022 what I got for Christmas haul. Now, I know this is kind of controversial and I have skipped this video before in the past um, when I didn't necessarily feel it was kind of like the vibes weren't all there, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I love watching these videos. I love seeing hauls of any kind and I don't know. I just, I really enjoy watching them. I know a lot of you guys enjoy watching them as well. And so I figured I would share mine with you this year. Um, so I'm kind of excited to go through it. It's fun to see all my things kind of like sitting out and I'm excited to put them away because I won't lie. It is tough to not like immediately put them away after getting them and like setting them aside. I am filming this on the 26th currently, so I'm trying to like go ahead and move through it a little bit quicker. And so we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. Um, I know I probably shouldn't have to say it, but a quick little disclaimer, of course, this video is not being made in any way, shape, or form to brag about the things that I did receive. I am someone who is very fortunate. I am very aware of how fortunate I am. Um, of course, to some, this may seem like you got nothing. To others, it may seem like I have everything. It's all perspective, but I just want to go ahead and put it up like it. Like, this is not to brag, to boast. This is simply just to share with you guys because I share with you guys a lot of things about what I get, what I buy myself. Um, all sorts of stuff. So to me, it just kind of falls in line with mostly what I do here on my channel. So if this is something that is sensitive to you, please don't watch. I'm not going to be offended if you don't watch. Um, but for the rest of you, I really do hope that you enjoy seeing it. Um, I want to go ahead and give a blanket thank you to everyone whom I received gifts from. It is more than appreciated and um, you all did a great job. I'm super excited about my gifts. I love everything that I have and so yeah, I'm excited to jump into it. And so without further ado, if you would like to see what I got for Christmas in 2022, then let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, y'all, jumping into it. I, I guess I will tell you who got it for me. I think I typically do that. It feels like it's been a minute. So I'm going to start off right here. I just kind of like laid stuff out in piles. So this is not in like any specific special order. This is just kind of the way I grab things and set them over here. So the first is from my grandparents on my dad's side. I of course got a fun pair of cozy socks with like little donuts and coffee or like cocoa mugs on them. Very cute. Uh, we all love a good pair of fuzzy socks and I like getting new ones each year because then I can retire some that are a little busted. Another fun part of the gift was they got me the perfect man hot chocolate bomb. And then literally when I got this, all I could say was, Oh my goodness, what a beautiful chocolate man! And no one in the room got it. So if you know what that's from, let me know down below. But look at him. He's so handsome. He's handsome and quiet and I'm sure he'll be delicious. Uh, they also got me two jumbo containers of my Batiste Divine Dark Dry Shampoo. Everybody laughed at me for asking for this this year, but I'm like, I have to buy it for myself all the time. And so I got two big ass cans of that from them. And then I did also get some money but that's that's between me and them you know what i'm saying um next is from my grandparents on my mother's side i got a disney gift card which i am going to be going to disneyland for the first time in 2023 we are so excited we have that booked i cannot wait we'll be going literally oh my gosh i'm so excited i I can't even wrap my mind around the fact that we'll actually be going and it's actually like starting to like get into the year where we'll be going. So I asked for Disney gift cards as well because I'm gonna have to spend the money there as well. Um, and then in here, my grandma got me a massage gift card to a place that she got me last year that I really enjoyed. And it was so cute when she pulled this out. I was like, what is this, a piece of decor? Which I'll honestly actually keep it as a piece of decor, like the bottle itself, but they did it as like a message in a bottle. So my gift certificate is inside and I think it's just so neat i didn't know they did anything like that there um if you're wondering it's called like coastal massage and spa um i really enjoyed my experience there and i'm excited to have another gift card to go and this cute little container so i'm excited to treat myself to a massage a facial or whatever i feel like um we're gonna real quick jump to my friends because they just happen to be next in this pile uh, but my bestie cassandra and the babies they got me a wine glass i should have known she was getting this for me because she did the little and she did get it for like 
her kids teachers as well but she used it as a, a way to see if I liked it which I'm sneaky just like that so I should have seen it coming but it says hocus pocus I need wine to focus it's so cute I don't know how well there you go that you'll be able to see it and it's got this pretty little painted stem I have gotten a lot of wine glasses from her um, in my lifetime um, she actually got me my first like custom painted one for my 21st birthday which I still have um, it's set aside so like nothing can happen to it or anything but I love it you gotta have a good wine glass and we love hocus pocus and Halloween and all that good stuff so I'm excited to have that I need to set that aside so it can't get broken um, from my friend Courtney which she's actually the first person I did Christmas with this year we were on top of the wall her and I because we do be winging it at the last possible minute um, she got me a mermaid tail blanket I don't know that I'm gonna be able to show you but you can physically like open it up and drape it over you and then it goes down to a little mermaid tail which I'm not doing this any justice at all like literally at all but there it is there's the mermaid tail down here <laughs> and I love under the sea like the little mermaid is my favorite Disney princess which is why she did this and with it she paired a couple of face masks which of course all face masks are hydrating but literally they say like hydrating sheet mask um coconut sheet mask so it goes with like the beachy theme which we love and then she also paired these cute little mickey mouse earrings so they're mickey mouse heads but she got them in the shape of ariel like her hair her bra and her fin and um this is the company name right here of course i can't read it backwards but she had gotten a pair and seen these and i thought that was such a cute little touch and so they're adorable you guys know i love disney and mickey and i like that they're like subtle um but like i know why they're the colors are the colors so that was so cute that was such a unique little gift because I don't have a lot of Disney jewelry. I'm pretty picky. Um, so I think those are like great because they're not too over the top. Speaking of Disney and Mickey and jewelry and all things like that, my aunt and uncle um, got me again a Disney gift card, which we love. I love a good Disney gift card. And they also got me these Disney Pura Vida bracelets i'm going to show you them at first i couldn't figure out because they are so delicate but they're so cute so it's like a it's like a pack and i'm not going to show you all of them but like let's see this one this one is my fave because it's the little mermaid but it's a bracelet and they have like something that relates to the princess so this one i don't know how well you can tell but that little buddy right there is flounder sticking with a the disney theme my aunt tanya and aunt ashley got me a Disney gift card and also the cutest okay this was my favorite part of it all the cutest Disney Tervis mug it's got Mickey Mouse and all different you guys look at him all over it. and guys this is the big Tervis with the big nice lid this is a nice cup okay I am my mother's daughter when it comes to cups towels things like that I love it and I'm so excited like when I opened it up I was like chef's kiss and then uh the kindness of their heart they also threw in she gets us a pair of socks for every holiday so it's a pair of christmas socks but a divine dark dry shampoo and you know your girl was like mm -hmm, i'm gonna just put that right there in the dry shampoo pile okay i'm hype and ready and so next everything else i'm going to show is from my parents um and so we're just kind of kind of rapidly kind of go through these starting off with things that are like non beauty related i got a 60 pack of fuji film because i had gotten a um polaroid camera for my birthday i got two new camera batteries i feel like i could never have enough camera batteries eventually they get old they just don't hold a charge quite as long or just i just need more for all my filming purposes so they got me two of these it's funny because now i have to get these refuel brand uh, because they don't make my canon batteries anymore um uh, but don't give up on me camera because you and me this is where we're at um, what else? Oh, speaking of glasses, if I didn't get enough of those, I got this two set of this crystal champagne glass. They had these long, tall, like, they're circles, but they give me kind of square vibes by Joy Jolt. These were on Amazon. I had them in my wish list, and I was going to buy them myself, and they went on sale for like $10, $10 or $15, and I told my parents, I was like, I'm going to want to buy these. This would be a great gift for me just to be able to set aside, because I do have some fun glasses, but I feel like you need 
some basic sets as well and i was like this is a gorgeous set so anything that i have to you guys i will try and link down below um especially some of the stuff from amazon and some stuff so that way if you are like oh my gosh i like that or want that i'll try and link like the batteries and everything like that for you but i thought these were so cute and so pretty and they're very nice like I, i'm not gonna take them out of the box so i had to have my mother rewrap them but they are very nice quality they feel nice um delicate but also pretty sturdy like they're not gonna just like break by just touching them so i'm really excited about that what else what else what else um still not beauty stuff from amazon i'm so pumped i got a i kept the bag so i can try them on but i got a uh like laptop case i have not had a laptop case in forever um i did quite a bit of research and was trying to find one and i love this color you guys know how i feel about a good green and it is like nicely lined inside with like I don't know what you want to call it, it's like felt or velvet, and it comes with a pouch for the cord, which I think is great because the cord wants to scratch the top of my laptop. I am also looking for a hard laptop like case cover that clips over my laptop. I currently have a, is it called? It's a MacBook, one of the laptops, right? And the iMac is the big desktop because I have, I have both. But, um, whatever it is the mac laptop i have so if you guys have any good recommendations for hard cases that i can clip on that because that bad boy is heavy and be trying to slip out my hands i've hit my wall with it i've just for no reason it's so aggressive so i want to put a case on it and i also want to be able to decorate it with stickers but i am not putting the stickers on the computer so if you have any recommendations for hard cases i can put on there please let me know but i was excited to have this because no lie I've never had a laptop case. I've always used, um, I don't know if you guys remember these, but the Triangle Bathing Suit, the Triangle brand, um, like that neoprene brand. The bathing suits I've had, I got eons and eons and eons ago, and they came in like a neoprene bag. I've been using that as a laptop case, and it's not meant for that. So I wanted a true laptop case. So I'm excited. I love the color. I'm going to try and slip my laptop in there after this video make sure it works so i don't have to return it for something else and then i also which seems so random but i asked for a new gym bag because i had been using an old like piece of luggage like those extra little carry-on luggage bags from an old old luggage set and it's falling apart you guys like it's on its last leg and so i was trying to find a gym bag i didn't realize this one was going to be so big it's of like really normal size but this is a nice nice looking gym bag you guys it's like a waterproof material here on the top it's got a shoe storage on it i'm pretty sure yep that's over here with the breathing holes which is great because girl my feet be stank okay i hate putting my work shoes in my bag when i'm getting undressed at work so i can put them in this shoe pocket i'll put a little deodorizer in there it's got a good mesh pocket on the side it's got a long strap short straps it just looks like it's going to be great tons of pockets and i wanted to also use this as a quick overnight bag because i also have one of those but I would just like to kind of condense some of the stuff that I have. So I'm excited to try this out. I'm not this much of a gym buff where I necessarily needed one quite this aggressive, but they all kind of come this way. So I'm excited about it. And I love the color. Like I'm, I'm pumped. It looks great. And the hardware feels nice. So I will link this um, below for you guys as well. Cause I really did some digging on these gym bags. I was reading hell of reviews. Um, let's see. Let's see. The last big thing um it's not crazy beauty related my big present this year was a new set of headphones these are the um, beats power beats pro these ones are wireless the ones that i had initially had like a wire that connected them so you could hang them on your neck these do not have these they are the over the ear if you can see and they are in a gorgeous navy blue which i was super excited about because i had like a pink and gray pair i wanted i wanted an olive green but they didn't have it so this was the next best thing that i really really liked Sorry, care about it was gonna die. So I was super excited about these. It's actually funny because on my cruise, Alex and I were wearing the Beats headphones that can like go in your ear and have a little nub that like hugs in here. I also like those, which I may consider getting a pair of those for like travel and things. I want these for the gym still. I'm like dead set on these because I like the fact they go over the ear. But those ones that Alex had are really nice. So I'm gonna look into those too. But I am so excited for this. I this was like the one thing I was like, I absolutely need it. My parents were laughing because I was making my other headphones last until Christmas instead of just buying a new pair. So I'm so excited for these. It's like probably one of my favorite things that I got. Like I cannot wait to bust them out. I'm going to charge them tonight because we are back at the gym tomorrow, y'all. Like it's been a minute, okay? And then I got this box. Are you relax. Oh my God. 
Um, I couldn't close it back, but that's okay. So uh, you guys, if you don't know, you're about to know. The brand Bourbon and Bells has a choke hold on me like none other y'all just none other i think i've talked about them in another video but i found them on tiktok earlier this year and i'm obsessed it's up it's a boutique with like other clothes and blah 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 but the main thing are they're like graphic tees and nine times out of ten these graphic tees have some sort of curse words on them now it's going to be very ironic because the ones that i have in here have no curse words on them the first thing i got that's not like part of this box is one t-shirt this again these ones do not have curse words on them um but this is just their logo they recently kind of came out with these um which is just kind of like the melty smiley and i love it in this blue color i don't have um another shirt like this so i was excited to get it i like to wear just for reference because they're they brand them as like oversized t-shirts they'll tell you that you should size up two sizes from your normal size so for me i'm a large they recommend me to be a 2x for a real oversized look I have now two shirts and a 2X because I, I like to wear those to kind of like really lounge around. But for me, a perfect oversized fit in this t-shirt is an extra large. So that's what I get. So just be wary of that um, because I don't love the 2X on me as much as I love just an extra large. I also have larges in a couple of their t-shirts as to wear them like normal t-shirts. So you just kind of kind of play around with it and decide what you like. But I know sometimes if you're paying full price, it feels a little bit much to kind of guess but that way you know so I got this one in an extra large I think it's so stinking cute and then the rest of this box it was like a mystery box they just pretty much put everything in there um so it does say Merry effing Christmas on the paper which I think is funny as heck and then it came with some stickers um it came with a merry effing christmas sticker which i think is funny and then a material girl sticker like this um because the box was the material girl box now the box i really really wanted that just sold out so quick was called bend that bitch um if you know me it's me um but my second favorite was material girl so i got this it came with um a pair of really cute pink checkered print socks it came with a Material Girl keychain, which I'm so excited because I have a spare key to my car that needs a keychain on there. It came with the Material Girl shirt, and this is the Material Girl shirt that I like this version of. The way their shirts typically work is it has their normal logo on the front. Again, I did get this in an extra large, and then all their other sayings are on the back. So it just says Material Girl. I thought it was so cute. And then it comes with a cup, like a glass cup and a straw. Let me see if I can, I didn't open this up because I was like, man, I'm gonna have to put it back in there. Um, but you know, like these little like glass, like, I don't know, cup things are all the rage right now. So it come with this and it says material girl on it as well in the same design, which I'm excited about this because I don't have any, any cups like this, but this is going right up to my box of, of stuff because I really do not need to try and put another cup in my poor parents cabinet for the love of pee like it just it ain't gonna work girl so that whole mystery box is a really good deal because it kind of gave you a really great like bang for your buck on the value um their shirts typically are like 42 dollars a piece i'm not gonna lie to you and say that's not expensive because it is but again they're that really nice high quality comfort color tees and they're kind of pre-shrunk i still hang mine to dry if you're wondering but i love them they're amazing so now we're going to move on to the beauty products again everything is still for my parentals i was very spoiled this year so you guys already saw this in a previous haul video but i got the way um detox shampoo and the leave-in conditioner set they got me like they had given this to me for christmas i'm obsessed both of these products are essential in my wash routine absolutely love that um i got four dry shampoos now what's funny about this is i placed this order to help them out like with all the things we're getting for me and my mom and instead of getting the divine dark i got brunette what was i thinking i don't know it's still very much gonna work for me because as long as it's not clear we're in the clear you know what i'm saying but your girl is stocked up on dry shampoo but i did laugh because i looked back at that order and i was like how did i i buy my wrong dry shampoo anyways the brunette does work for me in a pinch um, I also got one of these Love Scrub the Mesh Body Exfoliators. These are like the African um, body wash scrub things. Um, it says the Love Scrub has been a tradition in West Africa for generations. It will clean and exfoliate your skin like no other. I've been using it for over 30 years. Um, it's from Caroline, the brand owner. 
Um, I'm so excited because I think it's going to be great. It says um, it's great for removing dead skin cells. A large size can easily scrub your back. That's what I'm looking for. The link stretches up to 50 inches. It's long lasting. You can use this much longer than you can a loofah because of the, um, the material it's made of and the way it's more sanitary than a loofah because loofahs be very unsanitary um because you don't wash them like you would a washcloth or anything else and so i'm excited to try this especially for exfoliation because you guys know i love having some smooth skin um you guys already saw this this was the fenty brush that i showed you in the haul um this is the cheek hugging bronzer brush the 190 I accidentally picked this one up over the one that I normally have so my mom screenshotted my video and went and got me the one that I do already have that I love the face shaping brush this is the 125 so I got two new Fenty brushes so I'm so excited about that um, she also got me the Nature Republic Collagen Dream Essence so I've been using the super watery max essence from them for a long time I'm pretty sure it's now discontinued because we could not find it and so I did a little research this was the next best thing kind of closest to it on the website so I got one of these to try I'm super excited it says elasticity and deep moisturizing I love Nature Republic products they are so great it's a Korean skincare brand I highly recommend you check them out especially if you're looking for really moisturizing and hydrating products products they are wonderful so I'm hoping that this is gonna be my new holy grail so I can replace the one cuz girl I'm literally hitting the bottom of the bottle right now I was waiting for this to come in and then last but not least for the beauty I got a set of four claw clips on Amazon your girlie is in her claw clip age she's trying to be anyways and so it came with a pink a black a nude and of course a gorgeous green and I like the shape. These had really great reviews. These, again, I had sent them to my mom when they were on sale because I was trying to hook them up. I was like, if we can't save money, then what can we do together? So I'm excited about these. I do not need any more claw clips. This is a PSA to myself, to my parents. Um, I, if I start looking at them, I don't need any more. I'm not wearing them that much. I have more than what I need right now. I just like the colors of these ones. I was excited to try like a slightly different shape, but no more claw clips, okay? I do not need any more. I need to stay chill okay and then we'll move into my stocking stuffers real quick i love stocking stuffers i think they're some of the most fun things to work with my camera battery has been flashing so i'm going to try and quickly get through this but uh oh uh santa threw in a uh urban decay all nighter uh setting spray i haven't had this in a minute child but this had to choke on me back in the day i'm excited about that I also got a set of oil blotting sheets if you're an oily queen these are going to be your bestie a set of butt wipes every bad bitch needs some butt wipes in her purse in her car wherever you need them girl bad bitches use butt wipes okay i got this zapped acne treatment gel which i'm super excited about because i have a like acne treatment gel that i use now that's almost out so this will be fun for me to try and it's way more affordable than the one i have we got two nyx uh micro bow pencils and espresso santa knew your girl's brows are about to be running out I got a um, YSL Black Opium Travel Spray. I'm so excited to try this, you guys. I cannot wait. It has been on my to try list for a minute. Of course, we had to get some little hand sanitizers because you need to keep your hands sanitized. I got two Twisted Peppermint and one, as I was saying, because that camera battery finally gave out on me, uh, two Twisted Peppermint ones and one Tis the Season. Got to keep those everywhere. Um, I did get a, this is a Morphe M. 760 brush it is apparently a silicone glitter packer brush because i did not have this in my collection and i did not when i first pulled it out it looks like something you would use like on like the laneige lip sleeping mask so i'm excited to see what this does and to see how this works typically i just put glitter on my finger but you know we love giving it a good try i did get some advil because life be giving me a headache i got a little glasses fixer kit thing need that I got a mini uh, poopery. This is essential, okay? That's essential. I got some of these Hanu T Zone pore patches. Um, it comes with four regular patches, like four littler ones and four big ones. And so I'm excited to try these. I really like the Hanu pimple patches because they come in like a travel case and you like unroll it and um, I have not been able to find those anywhere so I was excited to see these as well especially because lately I've been breaking out really bad along my chin and so instead of having to do a bunch of little ones I can do a big one so I got quite a few of those to try out 
and then of course had to get some regular peach slice acne spot dots this is like the og brand that i was trying and using love these they come with 30 and the thing i like the, about the peach slice brand is it's got three different sizes in the pack um because you know sometimes them ones don't be fitting them big old zits you got like then you're just kind of out of luck so then I got this giant bag that did not come in this bag. I used it from my friend, but it is filled with nothing but candy. I've got chocolate oranges. I've got Nerds Rope. I've got Nerds Clusters. I've got Lint, the like uh, mini peppermint balls. I've got the peppermint bark. Um, Santa went crazy, even though, you know, I got to start my diet today. I did, which has been very sad because I got all this candy. Good thing is a Nerds Rope is 90 calories for the whole thing. That is a snack if I do see myself. So literally I had two stockings this year, one of nothing but candy and one of all those other good goodies I mentioned and then I had these sitting back here and about forgot you guys I cannot believe I did that now last but not least I got four new albums you guys oh my gosh I'm so excited so I got the essential chicks so the Dixie chicks um they're essential on vinyl I'm so excited it says um including cowboy take me away landslide the daddy lessons with beyonce i love that song and so i had had my eye on this one the essentials are always a more expensive album so of course i was like oh my ass santa uh for that for christmas and santa's the one that brought me these albums so very much thank you so this is the back of the album there and then i got um adele's 25 I love adele i think she's so great her newest album is not my favorite i won't lie but like these ones right here with some of her classics are so good. The 25 has ones like Hello, Send My Love to Your New Lover, um, Riverly, um, Love in the Dark, things like that. This is one of my favorite albums from her, to be honest. And so I'm excited to have it on vinyl. And then I also got her 21. Again, another great one. Look at her there. Stunning. Stop staring at me like that, queen. This one's the one with Rolling in the Deep, Rumor Has It, Turning Tables, um, One and Only. Again, another great one. 25 is better in my opinion, but 21 is solid as well. And I wanted to have both. And then last but not least, I got um, The weekend, The Highlights. I have had my eye on this, you guys. This was like a $50 album. And it was just, I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Um, this is what the back looks like. And then some essential, um, some essentials. <laughs> what? Some of the titles are Save Your Tears, Blind and Lights, um, Heartless, The Hills. Pretty much like all his really big ones and I love his voice so I'm excited there are times when like an artist like The Weeknd when I love a lot of his songs but I don't love every song I love when they do like and it's like the hits the highlights the essentials whatever you want to call it um album where I can get all the top ones that I really really like instead of having to buy a bunch because I have a lot of records but I'm very picky like I will not buy an album for like one or two songs if I don't love 95% of the album then I'm not going to buy it because they're very expensive I have Spotify I have things like that like it's not worth it to me right now for that so I really really have to want it and like pretty much everything on there for me to buy it speaking of which you guys if you want to see me do like a record collection or anything like that let me know down in the comment section below I know that's kind of random to tack on here but since we've just got done talking about a few more I added if you want to see my collection because at this point I've been now doing it um I think a two solid years I don't have a crazy amount I know there are a lot of people on here that have way more um shout out to Jay Lauren whose channel I will link down below if you are interested in records and music and things like that then you have got to subscribe to her I've mentioned her in the past here on my channel but she's been not phenomenal like just how in depth she goes her repertoire of music and music knowledge and taste she's exceptional so i highly encourage you to check her out but if you would like to see my record collection um let me know down below i could film that that'd be a little bit different for my channel but i think it could be fun so we could kind of do that but anyways you guys that is all for this video that is everything that i got for christmas this year 2022 i cannot believe this year is literally over holy smack I'm ready to keep it rolling though, you guys. So I really hope that you all had a very Merry Christmas or whatever it is that you celebrate. I hope you have the happiest of New Year's. Please stay safe. Um, thank you so much for watching this video and spending your time with me. If you did enjoy it, definitely give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out. Leave me a comment down below letting me know your favorite thing that you got for Christmas. How were you spoiled this year or did you spoil yourself? And let me know what you're looking forward to in the upcoming new year. I'm excited to hear from you guys. And yeah, thanks again for being here and I will see you in my next one. Bye!